You stayed up late last night getting one last homework assignment done, and oh no, it can't be 6 a.m. already, can it? But you're just tired. So tired, in fact, that the whole morning's a little fuzzy. But you get up and go to school at 7-something or other in the morning, even though multiple studies have shown that teenagers aren't really functional before 9 a.m. due to a natural shift in circadian rhythms during adolescence. Maybe you're home by 3 p.m. if a club, sport, or job doesn't get in the way. So you get to work on another assignment, and my god, it's past midnight? But you're not finished, and you're just tired, so you push on a bit more to get that chem lab written up. Of course you know sleep deprivation is real, and you might even know it's linked to diabetes, the immune system, brain health, growth, memory, and depression, but you're just tired, and you're feeling fine, and it's basically expected that you'll lose a little sleep over school. After all, only 8% of US high school students get the recommended amount of sleep, and they're just tired, because we're taught to believe that getting good grades is far more important than getting enough sleep. And maybe it's not a big deal that sleep deprivation can lead to mental health problems, high-risk behavior, and addiction because you're just tired, or that the rate of insomnia in teenagers is as high as 23.8% because you're just tired, or that 55% of all fall asleep crashes were caused by drivers under the age of 25. Sleep deprivation is a real, serious issue that everyone has dealt with at some point in their life, but it's especially important for teenagers who are fighting against biology, expectations from school and parents, and technology, because screens emit blue light that sends signals to the brain that suppress melatonin production, a phenomenon that has become even more difficult to avoid with an increased amount of schoolwork being done online. The first step to solving this problem is to increase awareness and recognize that sleep deprivation cannot be taken lightly, as the consequences are catastrophic. For more information about the symptoms, causes, and treatments for sleep deprivation, visit sleepassociation.org slash sleep disorders slash sleep deprivation or sleepfoundation.org slash teens and sleep.